Hello all. In this lecture, we are going to learn about factorial of a number using recursive function. So as I said in my previous lecture, function is a piece of code which performs particular task. And uh, there are two different types of functions. That is one is recursive functions and the other one is non-recursive functions, right? Uh, so recursive functions is nothing but a function calling itself then that function is known as recursive function. That is, when it will call itself, you will tell simply that all those uh, functions are recursive functions. So the same program factorial of uh, a number without recursive function we had given in our previous lectures. So once you just go through that one and then you move on to the recursive function, okay? So yes, as usual, I'm starting with my hash include stdio.h and uh, here you can see that I had declared the fu uh, function already, right? So generally uh, where we are where we had used functions in our previous uh, lectures, nowhere I had declared the function. Function declaration I hadn't used it there, right? But in this program I had used. So I what I wanted to tell is function declaration is not mandatory actually. If, even if you will declare or even if you don't declare also, you can write the functions, right? So, but in this program, I had declared. So, what is my function I wanted to create as fact? And I'm taking its data type as long end. And this fact method is also, or this fact function is also taking some argument that is n. So, as I said, it is a function declaration. It has to be given a semicolon over here, right? Then starting with your main, I declared a variable n and I'm asking user to enter some positive number and read. I'm then reading that value into n. Next, what I wanted to do, print a factorial of percentile d is equals to percentile ld. Why ld is? is because uh, I'm taking this fact data type as long int. So that is the reason ld, right? So here percentile d, whatever n value is there, that one you will print. And here you're calling the fact of n. So if I give my n value as 5 here, right? So 5 is equals to percentile ld. So what if the result it is there, it will print here. So whenever you are calling this one, that is when my 5 is copied here, fact of 5, you will directly cursor, our uh, cursor directly comes to this particular method, right? So now these are actual parameter is n here that is copied into your formal parameter, right? So uh, this int n is formal parameter this is your actual parameter. So now 5 is copied here and then you will enter into this function, right? So what is my first statement? If n is greater than or equals to 1, what is the n value I had given? That is what is the actual value I had given is 5. So that 5 is copied into formal parameter. So here my n value is 5. 5 greater than or equals to 1? Yes, condition is true. Next to what I'm doing, if this condition is true, simply return n into fact of n minus 1. So what is my n value now? 5. 5 into fact of n minus 1. So what I'm doing, I'm calling this method again, right? I'm calling this particular method again by, by passing which value? n minus 1. So 5 into fact of n minus 1 is 4. So now this n is having 4. Again, you will come and check the condition. 4 is greater than or equals to 1. Yes, condition is true. So next what you will do? n into fact. Right? Previously I had n as 4. Uh, sorry, 5. 5 is multiplied with the, the next element 4 and the n minus 1 again you are calling. So now what will happen? 5 into 4 is done. At the same time, you are minusing, decrementing this. So again, here 3, it will come. 3 greater than or equals to 1. Condition is true. So already we had done 5 into 4. Next to the value is 3. So 5 into 4 into 3, right? So next my value had become n minus 1, that is 2. Again, this 2 is passed over here. 2 is again greater than or equals to 1. And then... 5 into 4 into 3 is done till the previous cycle. Now again, we are multiplying it into 2, right? So now the resultant, again, I'm doing n minus 1. So you'll come back here, n minus 1, that is 2 minus 1 is 1. Again, here you'll come and you'll check out the condition that um, 1, uh, sorry, 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 greater than or equals to 1. Yes, it is condition true. Next, what will happen? n into 
that is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 till 2 we done in the previous cycle. So now it had become 1. So now 1 minus 1, what will happen? It will become 0. The 0 is being passed here and it will come here and check the condition where n is greater than 1. That is 0 is greater than 1. No. Right. At this time, your condition will false and you'll just come out of this one. But the thing is, what will happen is we had already stored some value over here. Right. So this value is being passed to where it is going to return the condition to what here long int. Right. So this is being captured by the this percentile LD. So my value will directly come here and it will move to that the value, the resultant value will be printed, right? If suppose I'll give first only less than one, then it will just simply return one, right? So this is what will happen when you are doing recursive function, clear? So function calling itself is nothing but the recursive function or recursion of a function, right? So let us compile this program once, check it out. I'm giving the value as 4. 24 it is correct. And why there is a doubt. I think you may get a doubt why I had used long int. Because I think till um, uh, you can find till 9 factorial you'll get, you'll get the integer value. After that you will get, you need the long int value. So that is the reason we had given here long int. So in the previous program I had given just int. I, it, will, it will work I think till 8 factorial or 9 factorial. After that you will get some garbage value. So in order to get rid of that one you can just directly go for long int. In order to show that variation I had declared here long int and in my previous lecture I had declared it as a int. Right. So uh, this is what the program for uh, factorial of a pro, uh, number using recursive function. Right. So that's all for this video. Thank you all.